Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you know, these videos are for the Christians, the Stoics, the men who have stumbled upon the red pill and who want to build power and financial strength. And of course, for my son, in case something ever happens to me. It's about 7.15 a.m. I am standing in a cul-de-sac. It's a little foggy, a little damp, but I'm jacked on caffeine and motivation has struck me, so I had to go hit this um, record button and do a little video. I want to talk about being a minimalist and saving your money. We have had a conversation about this already a little bit a week or so ago when I said save money and put it into certain vehicles, and I, I listed a bunch of options in which you can invest or save your money into this video, I want to focus more on being a minimalist, and then maybe we'll talk a little bit about um, where to put that money. But let me ask you guys this right now. If there was an emergency, which for a lot of people right now, there certainly is, would you happen to have $300 that you could scrounge up right now? Like whether it's in your cash, bank account, savings account, whether you could sell some stock, whether you could sell things that are in your house. Could you come up with $300? What about $3,000? Could you come up with $3,000 in an emergency? What about $30,000? Okay, so for so many people around the world, especially in America, especially the younger generations, they would not even be able to do the first part of that question I just asked. They would not have the ability to come up with $300. And let me tell you, tell you, as someone who used to be just like this, I used to live paycheck to paycheck, and a lot of people are doing that too. They literally are sitting there biting their nails for that paycheck to pop up in their bank account or for that check to cash so they can spend 90% of it in the first five days of having it. And then they're waiting for that next paycheck again. We're definitely going to talk about saving money in this video, but we have to talk about becoming a minimalist. Are you currently owning more than one car for yourself? And I don't mean you're in a relationship with someone and the both of you have a car and there's two cars total. I mean for you. How many cars do you have? Do you really have two cars for yourself? That is ridiculous. Do you have three cars? What the fuck have you done? Why do you have two cars? Why do you have three cars? You don't need more than one car, and in a lot of places, you don't need a car at all. It's time to start looking and thinking about what you have and what you need and what you just simply want. You don't need to smoke marijuana. My whole video yesterday was a 45-minute testimony of how I spent and wasted my entire youth on smoking weed and living paycheck to paycheck so that I could keep that habit going. You do not need marijuana. You do not need video games, guys. I know. I know they're really fun. I know they're super fun. I know when Steam has a sale, all these games are cheap and you can gobble them up, but you don't need any of them. You really don't. If you guys really want to find a balance between what you want, what you need, and only indulging a little bit, go ahead if you have the willpower to do that. I am the addictive personality type, and it's much easier for me to completely remove something out of my life or stop a certain habit than to try to do it minimally because I'll end up just snowballing it again and again and again, which is what happens with gaming, which is what happens with weed, which is what happens with eating bad food. If I start eating bad food again, like pizzas, now I'll have three pizzas for the next four days. I'll have, then I'll go into other junk food. It just spirals every single time. I'm not trying to get too far off topic here, but a lot of us have addictive personalities and we're not minimalists in a time where minimalism is not only a good idea for building power, but it's required. Um, you know, things are going to hit the fan pretty soon. They are right now, but as the U.S. continues to print money, and spiral out of in out of control debt. There's all, it's only a matter of time before everyone's dollars are worthless. You really, really, really need to create a budget if you haven't already. If you need to, um, I personally happen to be in a situation where 
I've got a mental control and idea of what I'm spending and what I'm making, taking in so that my money is always going up every month. But if you're living paycheck to paycheck, it's time for you to open up a Google spreadsheet. It is free. Go to Google, set up G Suite, get a Gmail, open up a spreadsheet and start building out a budget. See what you're spending all your money on and make adjustments. You definitely don't need video games. You definitely don't need marijuana. You definitely don't need to spend your money on anything that is for fun and that you don't need, like a third car or a boat. <laughs> Seriously. Like, there's just so many things you don't need to spend your money on. If you're going to spend your money on something, spend it on something that will add value to your life, like most books. Maybe not the top 10 best selling novels out there, because novels are just fiction. But books about building strength, books about finance, spend your time doing stuff like that. That would be a topic for another video as well. But it's definitely time to start living a minimalist life. And I don't mean eat top ramen every day, right? You do need food and you do need protein. I'm not telling you guys to go, go buy a cheap bag of rice and a cheap bag of ramen and eat 25 cent meals every day. That is definitely not sustainable for your health. But you certainly don't need to you know, indulge in late night munchies and all sorts of other unnecessary food related things. Um, you don't need to live in the most expensive area either. Think about that. Like find a balance between where you live and what the commute might likely be and try to find a cheaper place to live. If you need to take on roommates and you're young, go for it. You'll save money. Um, but yeah, it really wants you guys to start thinking about putting money away now. Um, and I mean, if you go back to that video I did maybe a week or two ago about how to how to save money, you definitely want to try to do that 10% thing where you take 10% of every dollar you make. So a dime from every dollar or $10 out of every $100, you know, et cetera, and put it away and then forget about it. Um, Get in the habit of doing this now, and I mean, even even if it's lo at small level, because it'll still be five or ten dollars more than you had saved before, and it will add up. The only thing I would say is, don't save it in a checking account or a savings account for too long. You're gonna want to find a way to invest that, um, and stocks are a good way to do it. Uh, same with investing in business or a lending platform or other things because the inflation does happen about two to three percent every year so your money is worth two to three percent less every year if it just sits there so by all means it's time to start saving money it's time to start living a minimalist lifestyle and i can tell you if you really 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 want to live the ultimate minimalist lifestyle and get the get the real nitty gritty. I mean, the stuff that this guy recommends in his book is like, whoa. But uh, Aaron Clary, A-A-R-O-N-C-L-A-R-E-Y, is a great author. This guy is the king of living a minimalist life. I mean, he lives in Wyoming, as far as I know. Like, I can't even imagine a cheaper state to live in. I think the population of the entire state of Wyoming is like 300 or 400,000 people. It's an incredibly large state. Not that many people live there. It's super cheap to live. Might be a bit of a shithole. I don't know. But it is very cheap to live there. This guy is the king of living a minimalist lifestyle. And he has a couple books. Actually, he has a few books. He's a good author, too. And his books are fun to read. One of them is called Bachelor Pad Economics. Um, I haven't read it in a while. I may do a full-on review of that book at some point. But it is a super good book, um, and I would highly recommend you guys check it out. I'll paste the picture of it here in this video so you can at least see what it looks like. Um, get it on Kindle or buy a hard copy of it. He has another one. Here, let me just do a little quick Google search so I can mention his other books. Bachelor Pad Economics, though, is definitely his book about um, living the minimal, minimalist lifestyle. And the stuff he says in there, I'm only, I'm only touching the tip of the iceberg on that. 
So let's see. Let me load up Audible here. What does he got? A bachelor pad economics. Uh, enjoy the decline. That's the other one I read. Um, <laughs> basically, it's like, yep, there's nothing you can do. Western civilization is declining. We have very low birth rates. We've got spiraling government debt. And he basically proves that to you with the data and then tells you the methods you can do to enjoy it, right? Like, just basic, like, I think it actually ties in a lot with bachelor pad economics in, in regards to what you can do. But that is a great book um, which, with a lot of good tips on living a minimalist lifestyle. Uh, and then Renaissance, man. That book, I believe, is, is actually a completely separate topic, but it's about... Uh, you know, being single, being young and exploring the world or the country for a place where you want to live. Like, man, I wish I did that in my twenties. Instead, I stayed home and as you know, smoked pot and played games for years and years and years when I should have gotten on a motorcycle and driven across the country to find a place that I wanted to live that was cheap and speaking to my soul. Anyways, Definitely want you guys to start thinking about being minimalists in your life, especially financially, and you've got to start saving money now. Emergency funds are required, but those emergency funds will eventually morph into savings accounts and other savings funds that you guys are going to use to start investing. Um, go back to my previous video if you want ideas of how and where to put that money. Um, I am going to do a video soon on dividend stocks. And ETFs, they're generally lower risk, and they pay you every three or months, every three or four months, just for holding the stock. Kind of like you own a piece of the business, right? If you own stock in a company, you technically own a piece of the company, and they're paying you because you own some of the stock. So, dividend stocks are a great thing to look into. I will absolutely do a much more detailed video on dividend stocks and the stocks that I invest in. And yeah, uh, but uh, what I want you to take away from this one is being a minimalist and saving money. You don't need to buy things that you don't need. I know it's hard and I know that instant gratification feels good, but think about this. How many times have you bought something only to be bored of whatever you bought within like a week? Generally, like a new video game or a new toy, like... I even bought a drone. You might have seen that there's a drone video on my YouTube channel here, and it is awesome, but since I bought it, I went hard in the beginning, and now I barely use it. So did I really need that? No, I didn't, but I'm in a, I'm in a good position. That's a good example of something I did not need to buy, and I could have saved that $400 and put it somewhere else. How many times have you been bored with a new toy? It always happens, and if you keep feeding that that need for gratification, you're going to keep buying toys, you're going to keep getting bored of them, and you're going to be with left with no money. Anyways, guys, I think I could go on and on. I think you get the point. Um, pre I appreciate the subscribers, guys. We pushed over 100 subs, and you guys are commenting. You guys are sharing the videos. Remember to hit the bell notification just so you're notified, but if you don't want to be notified, you, you should know that I do post these videos at least one a day and every morning around 6.30 a.m. Pacific time. All right. Thanks so much and have a good one.